Alright YouTube, I got a little video for you here. I got a TBI system out of a 1991 Chevy truck with a 350. Got power run from a battery and a battery charger. Getting 13.3 volts to the ECU. Got my constant hot, my key hot. So I've got power to the ECU. Got the only sensor I can really change the data on plugged in, which is GPS, got the IEC, injectors, map, but the main thing is I've got this plugged in, got power to it, no shorts, and I'm communicating with the computer. So I'm going to open the throttle a little bit. Hmm, looky here. Turn the battery charger off. Turn it back on. Look at that. Got a little app plugged in USB on the Go cable. Got off Amazon. And we just follow it all the way over to the ALDL over there, the computer port. It plugs in, I'm actively communicating with it, it'll do a lot more than this. I just don't have any more readouts pulled up because you can't see them, do anything, because it's not on the truck. I can play with the battery voltage, the throttle position, and I just pulled up my AC position for the hell of it, even though it's going to be wide open. And I've got my grounds, my power's wired in. Not the best, but it's just for short term test, got everything labeled, that's what all the blue tape is, says what every single plug is, I'm going to cut this down, probably put it in another truck, make it standalone, it's already almost there, but, yank open the throttle, and it, it painstakingly slow, 160 baud from that 7747 ECU, it'll respond just like torque. But this app here, called ALDL Droid, is $20. The setup is a little harder because you've got to go find the correct file to communicate with the ECU. 7747, it's $4.42.ADX. I got that off of uh, a forum where it is. Torque has, I think, all of eight different protocols to know for OBD2 to connect, ALDL, nearly every vehicle, every make, every model, every year has a different protocol. So you have to go get your own, load it up, and then you can do this, connect with it, get your own cable, or they got Bluetooth ones now. You can also do this with a laptop, but it's cooler to sit down on a Galaxy S5. Uh, battery charger just cut out because the battery is sulfonated, it's no good. I've got enough power to run this, that's all. 11.8 showing there, 12.8 showing there, 13. Oh, the charger kicked back on. Isn't that lovely? So. 13.6 showing there, 13.2 showing there, 13.34 showing there. So it is showing battery voltage or at the ECU after all that loss that you get going from here to there to there to there. So that's that. That and this is going to be higher because it's driving the battery. And then, of course, you got your watt voltage loss over distance. Got that. It didn't plug into the ECU directly. It's checking that ignition hot wire there. This is my ignition hot here. I just got it run over the fuse block to the ECM fuse. Pretty cool little app. Nice to see somebody is finally supporting OBD1 like this. Got tired of pulling blinky codes and guessing. This here, oh, 
show you codes, swap codes, like 55 flag isn't thrown, 35 flag isn't shown, <laughs> map sensor doesn't show anything because it's not really functioning at the moment. Must show codes, there's another app, the ALDL scan tool. Now I can't connect it to this because they only support their Bluetooth adapter. And I don't have Bluetooth for 12 pin. I've got 16 pin Bluetooth over there for 95 Pontiac. So you get your definition files for this off their website. They actually have definitions for every vehicle that work with their website. It's LDL scan. But they ha you have to buy their Bluetooth adapter. Of course, their Bluetooth adapter also works with laptops I don't know why you connect it to a desktop but it'd work if you had Bluetooth compatible desktop it'd work with uh, the other app here ALDL Droid it'll function with that if you get the correct ADX file for ALDL Droid nice to finally see somebody supporting OBD1 to this extent I may go out and Go get me a not a cable, but a Bluetooth, so I can Bluetooth. Cause I've got torque from my 2000 S10, and I Bluetooth it all the time, checking stuff. So I might get the Bluetooth for this, so I can Bluetooth other vehicles. OBD1. Now I might start buying stuff for remotes and get ready to convert that over to 28 pin and start programming and playing with it once I get it put in a truck. Top of another 350.